Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about dealing with fear. So understand that if you don't deal with fear, fear will deal with you. Job said, of everything that I fear has come upon me. And that's what happened whenever we focus more on fear than what God said, right? Some of you are still fearing your prodigal spouse is going to reject you, right? Some of you are still fearing my prodigal, they, they might not choose me, right? I, I, I read the comments. My prodigal spouse, they might not choose me. You know, they might go off and marry the counterfeit. This is the very thing that you fear. And if you don't deal with this fear, it's going to deal with you. How does fear deal with you? Fear will begin to deal with you by keeping you up late at night. It will cause you to overthink. It will, it will move you into overeating. It will cause you to, you know, see everything that's wrong with you. You know, when God said you're everything right, when God said you're the chosen one, you're the best, right? Fear will begin to deal with you. The very thing that Job fear has come upon him. Could it be that the very thing that you are fearing right now has come upon your life? You fear your prodigal spouse is going to reject you. Therefore, when you, you know, see or come across your prodigal spouse's path, rejection you are met with rejection why is that because that was your fear you just manifested your fear right when scripture said i didn't give you the spirit of fear but a spirit of power love and a sound mind you got to understand this is a spiritual word everything is spiritual first before it's physical so whenever fear comes upon you you got to begin to rebuke that spirit of fear you got to recognize that this is a spirit that the enemy is sending towards me to attack me, to cause me to feel defeated, right? To cause me to come into agreement with it. Because as soon as you come into agreement with the spirit of fear, it's going to manifest in your life, okay? So just as Job said, the very thing that I fear has come upon me. Instead of fearing the worst, walk by faith and not by sight. Come into agreement with what God said. God already revealed to you who your spouse is. He already told you the outcome is ending in marriage. That's the final say-so. That has to become the final say-so, not what you see. Not, you know, what your, what's coming out of your prodigal spouse's mouth. No, what God said is the final say-so. It don't matter who is speaking against this love story. What God said is the final say-so, and it's coming to pass. And also understand this about fear. Because on the other side of fear is everything you want. That's why fear is attacking you right now. That's why the spirit of fear whisper in your ear and tell you your prodigal would never choose you. Because fear already know that if you walk by faith, God is going to lead you right into your prodigal spouse choosing you. It's all about controlling your thinking. It's all about, you know, rebuking that spirit of fear and walking in a spirit of faith. OK, it's all about, you know, canceling these negative um, thoughts and thinking positively. OK, so if you don't deal with fear, fear will deal with you. God said he didn't give you the spirit of fear. So stop accepting it. Stop allowing fear to control you and hold you down. He said, I have given you a spirit of love, walk in love, a spirit of power, walk in your power, walk in your authority. You got to use your authority. You got to begin to, you know, rebuke the spirit of fear. You got to begin to speak back to the enemy. This is how you use your authority. And he said, I've given you a spirit of a sound mind. You got to spend time in your word. You got to get down to the root of these limited beliefs. You got to begin to ask yourself, well, why am I expecting the worst? Why do I expect my prodigal spouse to reject me when God said, this is the chosen one he has chosen for me? Why do I expect rejection? And let me tell you this, because when we are so focused on being rejected by our prodigal spouses, we that because we're so focused on the rejection, it causes you to overlook all of the ways how your prodigal is accepting you. It causes you to overlook the work your prodigal spouse is doing because we're so focused on the rejection. If you don't deal with fear, fear will deal with you. It's time for you to walk in your power. It's time for you to walk by faith and not by sight into this promise. I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.